New music on the way from Drake, Sia, SZA, and NSYNC. Madonna reflects on her Scrap Pepsi commercial, and we reflect on her first VMA's performance. We've got a new chart for your favorite artist to break records on, and we learn five things about the warning. I'm Tetris Kelly, back for Billboard News. It's Thursday, September 14th, and we've got some new music on the way, including a major return. NSYNC is back and they aren't trolling us. Drake nabs SZA for a track, and Sia breaks an eight-year silence. Do you know something? Do you know something? <laughs> I might know something. I might know something, too. <laughs> What's the thing you know? Well, they told us. NSYNC has officially announced they are releasing their first new music in 20 years by way of the song Better Place in new film Trolls Band Together. I'm so excited I don't know what to do. The song is available to pre-save now and will be released September 29th. Drake is teasing more for the dogs. He teased an untitled track with SZA, their first in-studio collaboration. The cover art features what looks like a 2012 photo of Halle Berry covered in green slime at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. His album is expected on September 22nd. And Sia has danced back into our ears with her bouncy new single, Give Me Love. The song is an initial taste of Sia's first new solo pop album in eight years, Reasonable Woman, which she said in a post is due out in the spring of next year. I had so much fun at the VMAs, but the one thing I missed in the audience was the commercials. But Madonna undoubtedly provided one of the best of the night. Pepsi recently released a canned commercial from 1989 featuring Madonna and her controversial hit, Like a Prayer. And Madge has something to say about it. Just like a prayer, your voice can take me there. After three decades on a shelf, Madonna's once controversial Pepsi ad finally ran during the MTV VMAs. Madonna took to social media to thank Pepsi writing. 34 years ago, I made a commercial with Pepsi to celebrate the release of my song, Like a Prayer. The commercial was immediately canceled when I refused to change any scenes in the video where I was kissing a black saint or burning crosses. So began my illustrious career as an artist refusing to compromise my artistic integrity. Thank you, Pepsi, for finally realizing the genius of our collaboration. Artists are here to disturb the peace. And disturb she did. Like a Prayer debuted on the Billboard Hot 100 in March of 1989, spending 16 weeks on the chart with three weeks at the top spot. At the time of its release, the Vatican condemned the music video, with many religious groups protesting it as well. Speaking of Madonna, she is the framework when it comes to VMA performances, and today we're looking back exactly 39 years at the very first in our Pop Culture Rewind. You can't get more iconic than Madonna. You can't get more pop culture than the VMAs. Put them together and you have one of the most prolific pairings in music television. We take you back to one of their best moments in this week's Pop Culture Rewind. The date was September 14th, 1984. The place was New York City's Radio City Music Hall. The event, the very first MTV Video Music Awards. We all know Madonna's Hot 100 number one hit, Like a Virgin but we had never seen it like this. So much to unpack. A 17-foot wedding cake, the boy toy belt buckle, and when she suffered a wardrobe malfunction, one of her shoes came off, which gave us pop culture gold. The moment has inspired culture throughout the decades, with it being a top costume and Madonna look and also spawned a performance by pop princess Britney Spears on that very same VMA stage in that very same outfit where... Um, we'll have more on that at another time. We always have space for more Queen Madge. We'll have another huge moment for you next week in our Pop Culture Rewind. Now I know it's not Monday, but we've got to talk about the charts. I'm so excited to announce a brand new chart that's going to track some of the trendiest music out there. You've heard them on TikTok. Thanks to the hottest trend. They've even climbed to the top of Billboard's charts. 
and now they've got a chart of their own. Today we're launching the TikTok Billboard Top 50. It's the first official Billboard chart for songs on TikTok. The chart is based on a combination of creations, video views, and user engagement by the U.S. TikTok community. And the first artist to claim the number one spot is Sexy Red with Ski. Ski, let me pull up. I mean, who can resist a good ski? Right. Every Thursday, Billboard will bring you the verified list of the hottest songs on TikTok by monitoring music discovery and engagement on the platform in the United States. To find the TikTok Billboard Top 50 each week, users can simply go to any sound detail page and tap the top right button to access the charts page. This week, Doja lands at number two with Paint the Town Red. I said what I said, I'd rather be famous instead. Thanks to some quick feet and devil horns. And Taylor Swift's folklore track, August, has everyone running on the beach. Back when we were still changing for the better. Landing her at number three. For a full look at the TikTok Billboard Top 50, check in the app or on Billboard.com. Before I let you go, we caught up with a warning at the VMAs and learned five things about the band. Hi, we're the warning! And these are five things you didn't know about us. We are three sisters. We are Mexican, Viva Mexico! Yes. Um, we've been a band for 10 years, which is like more than half of our lives. Um, another thing. Uh, this is our first time at the VMAs. Yes. Woo! We're very excited to be here. We just released our new single called More, so go check it out. That's today's show. Make sure you come back tomorrow for your Friday music guide, and I sit down with Big Mensa. I'm Tetris Kelly, and this is Billboard News.